you got a hangover, take a dip in there. Give you a quick wake her up right there. <laughs> Along the road here, all these huge trees, these are the banyan trees here. These banyan trees were planted in the 1930s. We have state, local, national dignitaries, celebrities upon request planted the banyan trees. As we move along, under each tree have their name plaque there. On the right side of you, you get to see a cruise ship there. In there. <laughs> Up ahead on the right side of us is a banyan tree planted by famous baseball player Babe Ruth, 1933. The road was from Baltimore and Maryland here on the right side. The Queen in Hawaii, Queen Lili Ookalani, which she donated this property personally in 1910. The park officially opened up in 1917. We have a lot of weddings that take place in different areas of the park there. Right side of us, that's what we call our coconut island. In Hawaiian, we say moku ola. Crater Rim Drive is known as the Kinawa Visitor Center, Steam Van, and the Jericho Museum Kinawa Duka. That's what we're going to be doing on the Crater Rim Drive. Right side of us here, this is the Kinawa Visitor Center there. If any of you have the notebook of the different national parks that need to be stamped, you take it with you inside of the Visitor Center. They'll stamp it for you. On the left side of us is the Volcano House Hotel and Restaurant. <laughs> right side here, that's the Art Gallery. The bit on the right, the Art Gallery. That building was once the former, former hosting of the Volcano House. That building was constructed on the Hua trees. Or Hia is the name of the tree. As we head it, as we move along, get to see the red flowers. The red blossoms are known as lehua. These tohia trees are the first wood plant trees to appear on any lava barrier. This area here is the steep section of the park here. 
you will have a stop in this area here. trunk here. These are the koa trees. K-O-A. Koa. This koa tree, the native plants of the island, they're very prized wood. They're hardwood trees. We call them our Hawaiian mahogany. In the island, you see any kind of woodwork, ukulele, canoes, and they mentioned to you is from the koa wood. These are the wood trees here. The koa trees here. All on the left, the right side of you koa tree that belong to the Acacia family. Right side is the Kilauea military camp. It's a recreational camp there. Up ahead, the first stop in the park is at the Kilauea Luka, at the Jagger Museum there. Jagger Museum was named after Dr. Tommy Jagger who came to the island in 1912 from Massachusetts. Dr. Jagger was the first volcanologist. He also was the first gentleman to construct and build the first volcano observatory in the world. Dr. Jagger was from Massachusetts there. tremors for both mountains, they have a tilt meter. A tilt meter um, does the recording of the inflation and deflation of the lava. They also have um, sulfur detection here, uh, sulfur dioxide, the SO2. If this area of the park has too much sulfur, too much sulfur, they close this section up to the public. Nobody enters into this area here. All these trees I mentioned, which are native plants of the island church. Okay. When vegetation starts to begin in any lava buried that we have lichens and mosses. For the lichens and mosses, then we have the fern plants. After the fern plants, then we have all these Ohiyanehu trees. Start the vegetation on any lava buried land. Lava has a temperature of 2100 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay. When it cools down, it, uh, and uh, you get the smooth, ropey type of surface of lava, it's known as palm oil oil. When lava temperature cools down to 1800 degrees Fahrenheit, it forms a rough, jagged, clinker type of lava, which is known as the uh -uh, there. Up ahead on the left side is the major, the Kilua visitor, I mean the Kilua military camp on the left. Kilua military camp. It's a recreational camp. If you know anyone who's active in the military, retired, they can call, make their reservations and stay in those cabins there. In the back of the cabin you have one bedroom, two bedroom, three bedroom accommodation. They have a big hall as well to accommodate a large groups there. The rank of your status in the military determines the fees of staying at the military camp. Yeah. Up ahead, the next up is at the steam, steam vent area of the park. These are all rainwater steam. 
rainwater sinks underground. Below of us, we have hot rocks underground. We know an active volcanic mountain. From the hot rocks underground, which is gathering from the dews of the rain, produces all this steam to arise above the surface. So this steam vent above ground, you have a temperature of about 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Below ground, you have a temperature of about 190 degrees Olha, até notas de dólares atiraram lá para dentro. Não é? Não. Olha, isso aqui é o problema. Estás a ver ali, será que está lá em baixo? Mas qual é o interesse? Que vergonha! Não é? is at the Kilauea Visitor Center. You can walk on to the Kilauea Visitor Center. They have a little gift shop, a small little gift shop area. <coughs> or you can walk across to the Volcano House. When you walk across to the Volcano House, when you enter, on the right side there's a gift shop, on the left side there's another gift shop at the Volcano House. When you walk to the left side of the gift shop, Look to the right, there's a picture showcase window. Walk toward the picture showcase window, look against the wall. There's a door that takes you outside, give you another view of the caldera and the crater there. And you guys want coffee or something, or another drink or so, walk in the lounge, walk in the bar, the coffee lounge, and then you guys want to order something there. See? So on the left side here is the art gallery. Right here on the left side, you see this paved walkway on the left, out your window? It takes you down to the sulfur bank there. And then the building on the left is the art gallery there. 